Hey everyone, this is Matt from JDSleds.com and NewBreedParts.com. Uh, I wanted to show you the JDM81JW Clutch Alignment Tool. Uh, this is a reproduction, uh, an exact reproduction of the original uh, John Deere slash OTC tool. Uh, it was made from the uh, original specifications. Uh, I just wanted to show you how this works. Uh, we are working on a 1978 liquefier that I'm uh, doing a trail restoration on and uh, this is the first uh, sled I've used the tool on. Uh, this tool works on the uh, 1976 to 1978 uh, liquefiers and cyclones as well as the uh, 1980 and on trail fires and sport fires uh, as well as the 1979 trail fire. Uh, so what you do here is uh, with the primary clutch in place and the secondary clutch removed, you slide the tool onto the secondary shaft all the way back to the bearing and the spacer here is to, uh, to align properly and then you come up here to the primary and you take a look and you can see here that uh, the way I had bolted this engine to the plate uh, I was pretty far off. Uh, I normally just, uh, when I do this, I normally just try to place the engine mounting bolts back where they were uh, but in this case, as you can see, that did not work well for me. Uh, there's a big gap on uh, this side, and uh, you can also see the tool is not actually down on the shaft here. There's a big gap here uh, where the uh, opening is for the clutch. So, uh, I already loosened the bolts on this uh, engine plate. Uh, it was pretty easy to do on this sled. You can get a wrench in uh, underneath on this side, and then there's holes in the pan uh, to get a... Uh, a socket and extension on, on for the other side. So I loosen these up so I'm just going to take this clutch here I'm just going to pull it this way and we're going to shift the engine into place. And now you can see this is centered. This is centered or at least it's very close. It's a, it's a little bit off but this is as much as the plate will allow me to move it. And the, uh, the half circle there on the tool is now exactly down on the face of the clutch. So I can leave the tool installed right now and I can uh, go underneath and tighten these engine mounting bolts and I've got uh, perfect uh, belt alignment now. Alright, thanks for watching and um, you can order this tool at newbreedparts.com. I would also like to add that uh, with this tool here you can uh, take a look at the square blocks here that uh, align with the back of the clutch and these should uh, be right in line with the uh, back edge of the clutch face. Um, if it's not, at this point you can add shims uh, here between the bearing and the polar and this is going to tell much how much how many shims you need to add to shim out your secondary clutch uh, to get the alignment problem correct.